Lesson 6, Two-Step Equations. Here's part 1. Solve. And just like the previous lessons, here are the answers for boxes A, B, C, D, and E. Let's move on to part 2. Solve. Notice and focus on the subtle differences between the problems in each row. Here's box F, and notice that there's a new type of problem. Here we have 3y plus 2 equals 18. And what this means is if you take a number y, added 2, and then multiply this whole thing by 3, you'll end up with 18. So we need to figure out what is this number y by itself. And right now, this number y is not by itself because we did two things to it. We added 2, then we multiplied this whole thing by 3. So just work your way backwards. Instead of multiplying by 3, divide by 3. 3 divided by 3 equals 1. Now we have y plus 2. Here's the equal sign. And 18 divided by 3 equals 6. So, so far we have y plus 2 equals 6. y is still not by itself, it's with plus 2. So, subtract 2. And now we have y equals 4. Let's check that answer. Here we found that y equals 4. So if you took this number 4, added 2, that would give you 6. Now take 6 and multiply it by 3, and that will give you 18. Here's another way you can check that answer. Looking at the original problem, 3 times what will give you 18? And we know that 3 times 6 will give you 18. So everything inside the parentheses has to equal 6. What number plus 2 gives you 6? And since we know that 4 plus 2 equals 6, that explains why y equals 4. One more example, box n. Here we have negative 6 equals 2y plus 9. So we took a number y, added 9, then multiply this whole thing by 2. So work your way backwards. Instead of multiplying by 2, divide by 2. Divide the other side of the equation by 2 as well. 2 divided by 2 equals 1. So here we have negative 3 equals y plus 9. y is still not by itself because it's with plus 9, so subtract 9. Nine minus nine will give us zero. Here we have negative three and negative nine. That gives us negative 12. Here's the equal sign, and here's y. Negative 12 equals y, or y equals negative 12. 